Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, talking about three wide receivers who got massive work in week number two and has their NFL DFS stock on the rise. The first one is Cooper Cup, who has had a huge role for the Rams for their first two games. He has 38% of the team's total targets, 33% of the deep targets, and 40% in the red zone. When you tie those numbers to a quarterback playing as well as Matthew Stafford, good things are going to happen. We've heard the rapport between Stafford and Cup is, is great. We're seeing that on the field as as well. So Cooper Cup stock is up big time and a guy we should be in on whenever we're stacking this Rams offense. Number two for me is Cortland Sutton stepping up big time in place of Jerry Judy with Judy being out for this week, but also beyond that as well. Sutton had 12 targets in week number two. Nobody else in the Broncos had more than six. Five of those targets for Sutton were at least 16 yards downfield. He didn't score, but the yardage upside here allowed him to have a huge day for DFS despite the lack of a touchdown. Teddy Bridgewater is playing well right now, entering a revenge game against his old New York Jets coming up in week number three. Sutton's going to have a big role on this team with no Jerry Judy for the foreseeable future, and he's going to be a target monster. So Cortland Sutton back to being what he was before his torn ACL. Number three for me is Rondale Moore, who is still not running all the routes for this Cardinals offense, but it doesn't matter because he's so freaking good. Rondell Moore actually leads the Cardinals in targets through the first two games. That is despite the fact he ran around on just about half of the dropbacks in Sunday's game. Although that is still not great, it's better than what he did in week number one. Rondell Moore is showing he deserves to get more work in this offense. He is earning that. He's coming through on the volume he does get. So far through two games, Moore has 19.7% of the team's overall targets, three deep targets, and three in the red zone. With his yard after the catch ability, he can do a lot of damage on that work. So Rondell Moore may not have the best role yet because he's not a full-time player. I still think that he's a guy worth buying because his potential as his role expands is through the roof. That's all we got for week number two here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. We'll get you set for week number three starting off tomorrow with some waiver wire selections. I'm Jim Sonnet saying so long. This has been the FanDuel Hurry Up.